Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. So today we're taking a look at my basically like 98, maybe 95% of the collection. It is nearly every single thing I currently own and it's just sitting in one room and I thoroughly enjoy it because I have a place to just kind of relax, I can build, I can just, you know, chill out. So I do hope you enjoy this video just seeing a little bit more in close detail what my collection looks like and exactly what kind of fandoms I'm a part of because it's not just Gundam I love. I love a lot of things. Uh, Gundam just makes up the majority of it. So let's take a look at the RX-78 collection. This is, I love it. I, this is my favorite thing uh, pretty much in the collection because it's not only just like where it all started in the actual franchise, but it's kind of like what I first really seen. Um, although Wing is like the first introduction to um, you know Gundam for me, you know I knew about the RX-78. I think it was just something that was notorious. It, you know, it was very common that this was the first of the entire franchise, and I, I just really enjoyed it. And I love the aesthetic. It may be like significantly outdated in terms of you know feats and you know technology and capabilities but it's still one of my favorites and let's move on to the new Gundam this is basically you know another fi uh, fan favorite I love it it's it's one of my favorite uh, just pure designs it's just a flawless design altogether and let's start looking at the unicorn line. So I don't really have as many Gundam unicorns as I used to. I used to have a bunch of the high grades, but I actually got rid of them. So now it's just basically a couple master grades, master grade EX, and uh, the Frank. Uh, sorry, the real grade uh, full armor unicorn. That's a mouthful. Got me a little stutter. But man, I love this. Uh, I think it looks great. I do want to get rid of the RG at some point because I do have the perfectibility and I'd rather just build that and just make a divine. But, eh, you know, it's, it's still fine as is right now. And then here's just kind of like the side stuff. I got the uh, the Fe uh, Phoenix or Phoenix and I also have the Banshee and the Banshee Norn. So really happy with this. Now we're looking over at the Zeta line, so a bunch of my Zetas, even though that one right in the front, uh, that's technically from the build series, but I, it's still a Zeta, so I just threw it right in there. Uh, and I do love the Mark II, and I love the Hyakushiki. Um, I do want to get a new Zeta at some point, but you know, this is fine for now. And let's take a look at the Crossbone Collection. So I love, love Gundam Crossbone. I haven't read the manga yet. I really want to get around to it. Um, I don't have the Master Grade X1 anymore. I kind of got rid of that. Um, but looking here, uh, the X2 is amazing. And I cannot wait to build my RG just to add it onto a stand. And here we are, guys. Look, you know it's going to happen. We're looking at the perfect Gundam right here the Gundam age one normal collection I have everything I obviously the SD is not in there yet but I will be putting the Gundam SD in there shortly at some point um, and I do want to make it the cross silhouette so that's a whole nother topic but yeah this is the Gundam age one normal shrine my boys and it looks glorious even got two robot Namashis in there now and this is just the H2, kind of like Art 2 shelf. I'm going to expand it once I start building more. But yeah, it's basically just, you know, the Gundam H2. Um, I don't have everything just yet. I'm still missing some stuff. Um, but it looks good. The Armis is painted. And I really cannot wait to paint up a normal uh, H2. So that way I can do the, uh, the RG look to it. And next is going to be the Arc 3 shelf. Uh, this is really lacking. Uh, by the time Arc 3 and Arc 4 hit, I started like not getting out of age, but I was just like not really satisfied with the ending, so I didn't build as many of the kits. Um, I did sell the full burst, uh, the HFX full burst, and I will be building another one shortly. And then here's the Va Vagan line so I love it one of my favorite lines 
Uh, then over here, we do have the expansion of the Age 1 shelf. Uh, it's basically just going to be all the armaments. And you also have the Genoese right there. Got some of the heads. Um, the heads are really hard to find. I'm still missing a few. Uh, no most notably, the Age 2 normal. And I'm missing, I think, the Age FX or the Age 3. It was one of those two heads. And then here is just going to be my Exia collection. I love Exia. Uh, I don't think anyone... Um, you know, doesn't know how much of an Exia fan I am. It's, it's one of my favorites, and I even think the Master Grids are fine. Now, looking over here, we do have just some random assortment of like double O, uh, and you got some random stuff right in the front. And we just have more double O. Uh, I really do love the series. I think Double O is actually a really great series, and um, you know, over there that that Double uh, O Seven Swords. That's actually my first painted build, so that's something that's just always going to be in the collection, no matter where. And now is my Hot Toys Flynn. So I do love uh, Hot Toys, and I do love Tron. So basically, two perfect things coming together. And then here's the Metabots collection. I cannot wait to expand this. I want an entire Detolf just dedicated to Metabots. I love Metabots. I think it's one of the best mecha franchises of all time. I, I just don't see how people are not appreciating it as much as I do. It's just so amazing. Um, you know, it's before LBX, before Bill Fighters. You know, this is kind of like what started the whole like, you know, toy mecha battles. I don't think that really existed before Metabots, and I'm just so thankful it actually happened. And now we're at the Common Rider Fies shelf. Uh, I don't think, you know, I don't, I don't think it's hidden that I'm a huge Common Rider Fies fan. You know, I even bought a cosplay. I um, absolutely just love Common Rider. It, it's, it's one of my favorite uh, Common Rider shows. It's the second show of Kamen Rider scene. Um, so yeah, I, I just, I fell in love with it. And uh, I, after watching a bunch of Kamen Rider shows, I, you know, you'll see on the next shelf. Um, it, it's it's one of my favorites, but I do have other, uh, you know, favorites that are within the franchise. But this, this just beats them all. And then here we have some Kamen Rider Kabuto. The Alita, the Hot Toys Alita is just kind of like random. Didn't really find a good place for uh, but I do have uh, some Common Rider. That's the real action hero, uh, Tendo. So I do love Kabuto with all my heart. I think the character is fantastic. I think the suit is fantastic and the hyper mode. All that looks great. And just some Ava stuff. Almost, almost this entire shelf is basically just going to be Ava. So looking through it, I mean, you're just going to see a large assortment. I have the metal builds. Uh, so they are looking great. I, I do want to get the uh, stand. I, already, I have it. I just haven't pulled out of the box. Uh, but to get the stand for the Ava 1. It's just kind of like sitting there. Still looks good. Um, and it's a shame that it's all the way in the back. So I need to try and change it up so that way the metal builds could be more in the front. But most people look at my shelves. They're probably not going to be looking at Ava. They're going to be looking more at the Gundam stuff. And then here's just another shelf. I do have the turn Ava in there, and uh, I got an angel right there, and one of the prizes. Uh, here's just the Macross shelf. Uh, I do have a lot of Macross stuff, but it's not out of the boxes. And then this is just the top of all the Detolves. So I I just don't have a place to really put these. A lot of it's just like build divers and build fighters. Um, I got some origin stuff. Uh, the few Zaku's I have. Or just Xeon suits in general. I keep I'll keep all my Xeons up here. Uh, to be honest, I'm not a fan of Xeon. I don't like most of their designs. Uh, I do like the Zaku. Maybe one day I'll paint one. Um, I think the Sazabi is like the best looking thing that ever came out of Xeon. Um, and I got some of the uh, the Barbados. I got the the what's the metal Damashi spirits. Um, I got the Vidar, but I'm gonna be honest. I'm probably gonna sell the Vidar. I really just don't need it in my collection. I like it, but I feel like uh, I need I need the space, so that might get sold. And then uh, moving forward, I mean, obviously you see a couple more uh, kits in the back over there, but I do have the um, not the Kamen Rider, the Gundam Age gauging figures. So a lot of them are in here, and a lot of them are pretty rare. So I do really have a lot of pride in my Gundam Age stuff. I got some of the the Vagan uh, heads right there in the front. 
Um, and then over here, I have a picture of myself with the uh, Gundam Unicorn that was over in uh, Div Diva City. I uh, got the perf uh, perfect unicorn. I have a bunch of other like unicorn related stuff over here. You know, got the Delta Plus. Um, I'm also gonna have the Kasatra, which was a really good painted build of mine. I'm still pretty proud of that. Now we're going on to the shelf that's all the way at the end. Um, basically, I'm, I want to keep my Digimon up here. I do have my Imperial Dramon, uh, and I do have the uh, Metal Garurumon. So I'm thinking about moving the Haro, and I'm probably just gonna make that the Digimon shelf and do something with the Psycho Zaku. And here's just all the mecha girls I have, and also Asuna, but basically a lot of just like the mecha kind of girls. And then I just have very random stuff here. I got stuff from Scryde, I have the uh, Shinkan Lion, which I do like Shinkan Lion. I never saw the series, but I do like the design, so maybe one day I'll get more of them. But um, I do love my Scryde figures. I, I, I need to put in like I think two or three more. I do have one that's in the package, but I need to grab like another one. Um, but yeah, I, 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 it's just a random little shelf. And then here is going to be my Yu-Gi-Oh battle. So I have Seto Kaiba. That's from the, uh, uh, what was it, like Other Side of Dimensions movie. And I have the uh, Yami Yugi from the same movie. And then, of course, uh, the figures of the monsters. And then here is just going to be even more assortment of random stuff. Uh, this is kind of more of the uh, Mega Man. I got some uh, Mazinger over there in the corner. And then here's my Pokemon scale world. And just uh, I got some of the D-Arts Pokemon over here as well. And then here is just more like figures. I got like my Dragon Ball Z stuff, Black Rock Shooter. And then uh, here's just going to be another main shelf of all my Gundams. You know, I love Amiibos. I think uh, Amiibos was a really cool fad and collection, but I stopped completely because they are quite expensive. And I don't see a big investment in them right now. I don't know if some, are, some of them are going for a lot of money. I haven't seen them like really jump up in price, but... Um, I also haven't researched a lot of them, so I'm keeping a good majority of them in the package. Uh, the ones that I, I've seen kind of go up a little bit in the past. Um, it was a Wing Zero. I, I need to review it at some point. Uh, I love my uh, NX Edge. I got Ant-Man and Antony. Uh, and then Donkey Kong. It's my boy. Uh, always looking down. And then over here, we're just coming over to the Gundam Wing collection. You know, funny enough, I really don't like Gundam Wing. I don't like the anime don't like most of the characters, uh, but a lot of the, the designs just completely slap. Um, I love the Proto Zero. I love I love the TV version, uh, Wing Zero, the most. And it's unfortunate that we really don't have too many kits of it, at least any good ones. Um, so I'm waiting on a Master Grade, but for the time being, I had the Robot Namashi. Then just uh, some Gunna Wings. I'm going to sell those two uh, at the top, but I got to do the review first, do the comparisons. And then those two at the uh, top, I'm going to go ahead and just sell and then of course we have Epion, some tall geese over here because um, I do like Trey's um, mobile suits. I do want to get rid of that Sand Rock. I swear to God, I, I just I don't like Sand Rock. It's my least favorite. Now he would come to my absolute favorite of Wing. It is going to be Ultron slash Nataku. Um, I just I love it. Shenlong, I, I best design all across the board. And now we're coming over to just some more random stuff. Uh, I got a lot of my seed things over here. Uh, just, I just don't really like seed. Um, I love I love Red Frame. Don't get me wrong. Red Frame is one of my favorites of uh, the entire seed line. I know it's from the Astray, but um, I do love a lot of the Astray designs. Um, I do have the perfected, uh, Perfect Pack. I, like, I love Blitz. Um, I, I really need to get some more X kits. Uh, just seeing they, they've been spiking them in price. Uh, some Alien figures. Um, I do have my moon stuff right there. Uh, the reflect pack of G, uh, G self was over there, and then just some more G self. Now here we're coming over to the Transformers line, and then also on top I got all my Godzilla SH Monster Arts. Love, absolutely love Godzilla. I've I've probably been a fan of Godzilla significantly longer than I was a fan of both Transformers and you know Gundam. I just I really really love Godzilla um, I'm, I'm I just remember watching it when I was like maybe like six seven years old and just fell in love with it and I still have VHS tapes now here we come to Beast Wars I am a huge fan of Beast Wars it is my favorite of the entire Transformers franchise 
And then just coming over here, Gym 1. Um, I did grow up on Gym 1, obviously, um, but you know I transitioned over to Beast Wars because that was like really cool and I really loved it. But um, Gym 1, I mean, it's still amazing. So of course I'm gonna collect it. Uh, here's more of my movie stuff. Um, you know, I, I hate the Michael Bay movies, but I do love a lot of the designs. So I'm keeping all the NPMs. Um, here we just have a, an assortment of random stuff. So it's more movie, I got Transformers Prime. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what this shelf is as well. And then the big boys. So I basically have Devastator, I have Bruticus, and then I have a uh, Megatron right there in the front. And here's the Common Rider belt shel uh, shelf. So I, once I get one more belt, I'm screwed because <laughs> I basically perfectly fit all my belts in this shelf. Um, but yeah, I love my Common Rider shelf. It is uh, the best thing. It just it's it's perfect and I love Kamen Rider Saber I need to finish it up because I'm a few episodes behind but yeah Kamen Rider Saber so far has been really amazing but that's it for me guys thank you all for watching um don't really have anything else to say this is just the collection room so I'll do like a backlog review uh pretty soon and I'll also do like a workbench review uh, but that's it for me I'll be seeing you guys later bye bye